Okay, so close to the end of each semester, we are not automatically rehired for the next semester, so we have to write a rehire letter to ask the bosses to rehire us for the next semester so we can keep our jobs, and they review it and tell us if we're rehired or not. I, at the end of the semester, uh, I don't know. I'm sad, I'm gonna miss it so much. I've made a lot of friends here, which was interesting because I wasn't sure I would, but I did. And everyone's really nice, and all the people are very nice, and I don't wanna go. This place is my life. This group of people, the atmosphere of fun learning and just, love everywhere that's going around. It's not in school, so you don't have to like get a good grade, but you want to learn just for yourself. I like, I, I know that I'm not going to find anything better than that. And well, I better come back. Well, I've been here for two years, so I've gotten to know the whole area really well, people really well. I didn't put a rehire letter in for this semester because I am a full-time college student. So my plate is pretty full. I'm taking six classes. I don't know, it's really turned me into someone that's looking forward for the future. You know, I want to see what's gonna happen because I want, I want to see how I'm gonna grow and that's only really happened because I came here to the Exploratorium. It's cliche, but it's dead serious, you know? Farther in the future, I actually want to be a marine biologist. And because I'd never really taken bio before, um, it had been a very sort of awkward dream because I was really interested in it, but I didn't really know much. And I've learned actually a lot about it this summer. And I've decided I am very much still interested in being a marine biologist, and so I'm very... The Explore Time has really helped me get there in deciding what I want to do. My job here has actually made school a little bit easier in a sense that, you know, when we, get, when we got to the biology, or when I, when I was in biology and we got to the bit about eyes, I had that down pat, right? I got like a nine, or it was like 102% on that test because I was like, I know what all this is. And it was totally like, that's what I do. I spent four years at School of the Arts for theater and I wanted to be an actor. It was pretty simple to me. I want to be an artist, I want to be an actor somewhere, New York, LA, Chicago, somewhere, whatever. That was my goal, that was my dream. That's just what I thought I was going to be doing. And then, then I get a job here, start learning more about science. My friend May Lee told me the requirements for being an astronaut, my lifelong dream, which is to go to space and all you need is a bachelor's in science and three years of experience, and that was it, that was that. Um, I'm going to UC Davis as a physics major, hopefully as a musical theater minor, and I'm going to use that to get into graduate school and hopefully get a master's in teaching. And I have no idea where I'm gonna to go to graduate school, but I hope to teach physics and possibly chemistry in high school and maybe come back here and do some stuff. I don't know. You know, I know that because of this I want to go into performing or if not performing, at least teaching of some sort um, or at least being a, I don't know, a big high school professor, college professor, something like that or work here because that would be the most amazing job ever is to work here as you know, as an explainer boss, as someone who makes exhibits. I, I don't even know, just being rooted here is unbelievable, really. After learning those requirements for being an astronaut, I was set, like it didn't even matter. And then the next week, every, every theater school, like one after another, just like no wait list, nothing, just no, 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 no. Then my science school started coming in and there are yes, and yes, and yes, and then I started getting scholarships, and it, it was, I don't believe in fate, but it was fate. It, it seemed like it, it was so calculated. 
So yeah, yeah, you can be an astronaut to the moon. Oh yeah, I'm alive to the moon! And then you can have like lasers emanating from my fingertips. 